Hey guys, Karek Sid here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Deluxe Wizard Dragon and Machine Winger set from Conrad Wizard. This is a special set for the Wizard Action Please series that gives you Wizard's Dragon Phantom as well as his bike. So this set includes three things. The Wizard Dragon, the Machine Winger, and one Wizard Ring, the Drago Rise Wizard Ring. So we'll look at these one by one, starting off with the biggest of the set, the dragon. So here it is, and as you can see, it's really quite large, with a lot of color and detail to it. Most of it is in the silver plastic, with some nice additions of gold and black, as well as some translucent red, starting off with a head. You can see it's got nice clear eyes as well as a big clear forehead gem. Got the uh, snout and the jaw, as well as a couple of horns protruding from its head. Looking down, you can see the neck, which has spines on its back, as well as a nice scaled pattern along the side, and more scales under it. Unless you have another diamond, also clear plastic. Got the shoulders and the front claws. As you can see, it has a total of six, well, six claws on the front and back paws, so a total of 12 claws. Got more of the scaling detail on the gold. You've got the wings which are very nice and separated by these silver parts. There's some claws on the corners here. And more of that scaling. The back is pretty flush with a couple of peg slots, which will come into play later. More of the scaling detail. And on the underbelly, as well as a little bit of scaling down here. Got the bag legs, which have more scaling, and you also have several uh, dual patterns kind of, kind of spread throughout the design of the body. And then you have the long tail with more scaling, and then continuing the spines from the neck. And finally, getting to the tip of the tail, got a couple of wheels that come into play later, and another gem. Articulation wise, this has some. You can move the wings a little bit. Also, be moved inward. The front claws can go forward and back. And also be rotated from side to side. Like so. The head is articulated on the swivel joint. You can also open up the mouth, like so. And there's a joint right here. With which you can move the head downwards a little bit if you want. The hind legs also move forward and back. And a lot of these joints come from the transformations that it has. Especially this one, which doesn't re won't really do much good for posing. The tail doesn't have any joints, but the tip of the tail has joints that can. Uh, be moved downwards or upwards. Next is the bike, the machine winger. And uh, while well, it's a little bit of a strange name, you'll see why it has a name in a little bit once I show what these two can do together. It's a very simple bike. On the front you have this dual-like piece. You got the handlebars, which are done rubbery plastic. Orange jewels bed on either side. You got the front wheels, and along the body, you've got some nice gold detail reminiscent of the dragon. And the back with the tail lights. And the back wheel. Another thing of note is that this has a couple of kind of training wheels. That means it doesn't have a kickstand, but it also means that you won't have to worry about it falling over. And this is a design choice that's, well, mostly for the sake of one of the other modes. 
And finally, you have the Drago Rise Wizard Ring. This is, as you can see, of course, a magic ring with a nice design of a curled up dragon. You can see the individual parts too the head and arm, a wing, a leg, and the tail. And you can see little bits of detail molded into the head as well. So, of course, this works with the wizard driver. I'll push these back and move this in so I can show off the sound. Just like so, and switching it on. Now switching over to magic mode. So for that you had some kind of made up gibberish speak followed by the dragon's roar. And while some people say that there are actual words in that phrase, I would contest that by saying that while there are places that say so, there are no, absolutely no official sources that say just what this thing is supposed to be saying. Theoretically, it's some kind of ancient magical language, like some kind of spell. As what can be said within Wizard is that there has got to be some kind of ancient language in which spells are cast because the spell circles for Wizard and Beast have ancient runes on them. And during the period of time that Wizard and the White Wizard created the Drago Timer, the White Wizard did chant some kind of a spell in an ancient language. So whatever it's saying, that's got to be that same ancient language. At least that's as far as I go with it. So like I said before, this is a special set for the Wizard Acting Please series. So those figures are compatible with it. The first compatibility is that, of course, Wizard can ride on his bike. Of course, that's pretty simple. You just have to get him into a proper seated position, which is a little bit tough because of the cloak. Then set him down on the bike and have him hold the handlebars. You also kind of have to try to move it out of the way so we can fully sit down. And of note, I would not suggest leaving him on the bike too long because if you do that, as I noticed with the review of the figures, these pieces are flexible plastic and if they stay in one position for too long, they'll kind of form to that position. So if you take them off, you'll have weird splayed out cape pieces. And while in the show, the only person who's... the only uh, style that's see been seen riding on the bike is flame style, any of the figures are compatible with the bike. And so the next thing you can do is combine the bike with the wizard dragon in one of two ways. The first way is fairly simple. So for this you don't want to take the bike and split it down the middle like so. This was out of the way. Make sure these two pieces click into place and fold it out again. And take this and line up these pegs, place it on to the back of the dragon, like so. Also, 
also you want to make sure that this piece goes into this place under one of the spines on the neck. And you can take Wizard and readjust him. To sit on the seat again. And if you need to readjust the hands. And so there you have the Winger Wizard Dragon. And so this is why it's called the Machine Winger. <coughs> because it creates extensions to the wings. So uh, with the uh, Machine Winger attached, you can see new details on the inside. These parts rather mirror the ones on the outer portion. And you also have these four uh, clear red parts that look like wizard symbol. And so you can also have wizard riot like you see here. And while I did put the bike onto the dragon with Wizard still riding it, you can, of course, take Wizard off, place on the bike, then place him back on. But of course, this is also something that would warp the cape, so this is also something you don't want to keep Wizard in for too long. In my personal opinion, I actually like the w the uh, way the Wizard, the Winger Wizard Dragon looks better than the regular one, just because this gives it a very nice and large wings and I kinda think that without the wings look a little bit on the puny side. It's also actually rather neat that the bike seat basically becomes a saddle for wizard. And there isn't really much to do in this mode, it's really just for display purposes. Or if you want, you can kind of play around and have Wizard flying around on the dragon. So uh, for the other combination that you can do with it, the first thing you're going to want to do is take off Wizard and set him aside. He'll come into play a little bit later. So uh, next, take off the bike and to prepare the bike, what you're going to want to do is fold it back up into the machine winger. Then take this part and lift it up like so. And set it aside, and that's all the preparations you need for the bike. Preparations for the dragon are a little bit more complex. To start, fold up the neck so that's straight. Push the neck down into itself like this to compact it. Then fold the head all the way forward like so and push the neck inward so that it's straight. Next take the claws and take these back pieces and flip them forward. Then flip them forward again a little bit. And Next, take these and fold them back. Fold the hind legs inward like so. Take the wings, fold them back a little bit. And then snap them together like so. And get back to the front legs and fold them all the way forward until they click like this. And for this, you also want to make sure that the claws are splayed out a little bit like so. Next, take, take the tail and move this piece up. Then snap the tail out from this place, and you'll see it has this hinge here. So fold it all the way down like so, and, and use this clip and secure it into there.
And finally, take this peg and this clip and uh, snap them into place on the back of the tail. On this section uh, you know, of the tail, has been revealed. Just like so. Now you have the Wizard Dragon and Machine Winger in what's called Strike Phase. So, like this, it now resembles a giant dragon's foot. And this is used for a special kick strike. And so, this is the reason why the extra wheels are on here. So that it can balance like this while in strike phase. So you can also use one of the WAP wizard faders with this as well. So basically how you do that is that there's a peg here on the bike seat. And as you can see there's a little indent in the shape of a foot in there. So what you want to do is take wizard, have his leg extended and rotate his foot so that it's vertical like this. And take the other foot, peg it down onto the bike, like so. Then fit Wizard's foot into that indent, like that. And so now you can have him doing the special kick strike, just like that. This is, yet again, another way to display it. But doing this properly, once again, it requires that you kind of spread open the le You kind of flex the legs in a way that moves the position of one of the capes. So again, you don't want to keep it in this position for too long, so that in case that it gets warped. And you also just take it and kind of have it smashed down into the ground. And the cool thing of note is that, as you can see, all of the gems on, along the body are now shown here. You got one on the head, the chest, two on these claws, and then one down here on the tail. Well, it's a very cool and very creative use of the bike and this dragon. And again, you don't have to have flame style on here. You can have water, a hurricane, or land style using it like this also. And once you're done, you can just take them and put them back into their normal modes. So overall, this is a really cool set. The Dragon has a nice size to it. It's fairly in scale with the WAP figures, as well as the bike. While the bike is a rather dark, is a slightly darker gray color than it should be, and a little bit rather bulky and clunky because of the transformation, it isn't too bad, although if you want a better quality bike, there will be an SHF Machine Winger release. Although it's highly unlikely that there's going to be a, an SHF release for the Wizard Dragon. It also gives you the Drago Rise Ring, which is one of my personal favorites. This is a very nice design and a very cool sound. Plus, the way they function together in both the machine, the Winger Wizard Dragon, and the Strike Phase is really fairly cool and does let you kind of repli replicate the scenes from the show 
where a wizard is in the person's underworld battling with the monsters there. It is, of course, a little bit on the expensive side because of how big this is and because of the functions, but it's not too expensive because it doesn't have any built-in electronics. And so, this is said I recommend, you know, even if you have just one WAP figure, or even on its own, because you can still combine these and play around with it even without an, a WAP figure. Having one of those just adds a little bit to it. But definitely recommend it to fans of Wizard who like his dragon or his biker the way they combine. And to people who have even just one WAP figure. So, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and check out my channel for more videos. And for now, this is Kerox City, riding off.